Hey everybody, KWG here. So I want to talk about a couple things real quick, just because I've been on break from base PSO2 and from New Genesis, and I feel like with my break, I've gained some you know perspective on things. And I still don't think Sega's doing a lot of great things. I still think that there was a lot of decisions that I'm not very happy with, but ultimately I can see why they're making a lot of the decisions that they are. So let's talk about the daily and weekly uh, rankings. Let's also talk about the base PS2 rankings. Let's start with dailies and weeklies. So here we go to the daily task and we find out that they're changing the daily tasks as an entire whole. We are gaining Mesetta off of this. So uh, they're changing this to making them a little bit, you know, to a little bit more rewarding. Every time you complete your dailies every day, you're gaining 130,000 and Mesetta, which is very, very good. That equals out to after seven days, 910, you know, 910K, which is almost a mil, right? And then here, um, we are losing about 150K on the weapon enhancement and PSC observation. We're losing about another 50K off of the clear urgent quests. We're losing another uh, 200K off the enemy suppression here. We're losing about 150K that was off the complete the daily tasks. So all in all, we're losing about 550K off of this. But what a lot of people aren't seeing is that we're still gaining even more Mesetta. Basically every week you're guaranteeing yourself at least a mil, you know, at least. Um, it, it totals out to about 1.1 mil every week, 1.11 mil per week. So this is easily one of the best things that could have happened when it comes to Mesetta gain and rewards. And so there's really nothing wrong with the daily and weekly tasks that are being shifted here. Um, sure for some people they may not like it but that's fine also you get about 10 star gems and x cubes here we're getting a special scratch ticket two times every week three times every week and it might transfer into um star gems if you're lucky so having more sources for special scratch tickets is not a bad thing however this is where i think sega's kind of messing up now rather than adding a means to be able to get augment transfer passes they're removing a source of star gems from base pso2 through the, from their weekly and challenge ranking missions now this is why i think sega's messing up i actually don't think sega's messing up everything like this is not killing the game like some people are making this out to be but this is just a a, a slight setback because it, it basically what will wind up happening is this is a short-term fix for a long-term problem and eventually will create additional long-term problems now star gems a lot of people go back and play base ps2 because this is very important right but there are also a lot of players who want to be able to augment their gear you know as perfect as they can but they're unable to so they need the augment transfer passes and that's very important so having this source is not a bad thing in fact, I think having that is a good thing because it forces them to compete in the weekly rankings. It forces people who don't no longer need them. They're done with their weekly rankings. So a new set of players can go ahead and get them done and so on and so forth. So it's constantly cycling things out and eventually everybody will have the things that they want so long as they play the game and socialize. It's really it. Um, same thing with challenge rank missions. This will actually push a lot of people to be able to go ahead and do them if they're trying to play base PSO2 but it stops players from enjoying a currency that was available in base PSO2 and new Genesis because star gems are important and losing out on that re on that source hurts the game long-term for both base PSO2 and new Genesis, because what happens when you lose or everybody who cares gets all their augment transfer passes, they create all their units, they create all their weapons. Right. Unless you're banking on brand new players constantly getting into the game, you know, this doesn't work. Star gems work because then basically you're like, oh, well, that new player comes in. They're starting to play new Genesis. They're like, well, I need more star gems. How do I get more star gems? Well, then you go back and play base PSA 2 and you do all of the things, you know, mentioned above. What personally what I've liked to have seen is not the removal of star gems. OK, 
considering the only other way is events and um you know uh yeah I, actually i think it's just events right now right uh casino casino is another way as well but uh, removing a lot of the source of star gems becomes a problem even though a lot of people will probably save them they're not really spending them but for a lot of the free-to-play players they rely on star gems a lot Having a source to be able to get augment transfer passes, maybe through the dailies and weeklies that are in base PS2 would have been a much better fix. Um, and I think that that would have been the way to go about things. I just don't think this was it. So when they, when I say they messed up, I think this is a bandaid fix for, for, a, for a short term solution. That's going to create long term problems, especially when they word it as, as a part of the June, 2023 updates. Uh, for some of the weekly rankings in base PS2 uh, that currently have fewer players will be replacing SG tickets rewards with various items. I don't fully understand in my head why they would be doing this to uh, base PS2 players when you should be incentivizing them to want to play the game more. So having the best of both worlds, in my opinion, is just a way to have done that. But again, I'm not a, de I'm not a developer, um, so there's that. But uh, at least having another 10 star gems a week is nice, at, you know, for the people who exclusively play uh, New Genesis, as well as having the three times every week to be able to get special scratch tickets and also the additional Masetta gain out of the whole thing. So overall, every week you're looking at more Masetta, less star gems, which kind of sucks, but I don't know. So this is something that I don't really think uh solves a long-term problem but ultimately between these two changes i do think a lot of people are overreacting ultimately um because this at least for new genesis is a positive change not necessarily for base ps2 but the reality becomes how many of those people are actively playing base ps2 and will those people who want to get the augments on their weapons and items care about the augment transfer passes for base ps2 so that's really the only argument there i don't necessarily see this as a this sake is the worst ever I, I i don't see that and maybe that's just me maybe i'm a little bit confused here but you know anyway thank you guys again for watching think you know these again these are just my opinions but i would love to have you guys comment down in the uh you know section below just because you know it's a discussion. It's not just me throwing my words at you. Let's talk about it. Anyway, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Stay awesome. Stay beautiful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm out.